The Mikoyan Gurevich MiG-21 stands as one of the most iconic and widely produced fighter aircraft in aviation history. Developed in the Soviet Union during the 1950s, the MiG-21 was a response to the growing demand for a lightweight, fast, and highly maneuverable interceptor that could compete with Western aircraft of the Cold War era. Its design philosophy was centered on simplicity, reliability, and effectiveness, which not only made it a formidable opponent in aerial combat but also ensured its service across more than 60 nations worldwide. Known by its NATO reporting name, Fishbed, the MiG-21 became a symbol of Soviet air power and technological achievement during the mid-20th century. The MiG-21 was introduced into service in 1959 and quickly became a revolutionary aircraft due to its delta wing design, powerful engine, and supersonic capabilities. It was the first Soviet fighter capable of sustained supersonic flight, achieving speeds of up to Mach 2. Its relatively small size and lightweight structure gave it exceptional agility, making it highly effective in dogfights. Despite being a relatively simple aircraft compared to modern standards, it was equipped with radar, air-to-air -air missiles, and cannons, which made it a versatile platform for both interception and limited ground attack roles. The combination of speed, maneuverability, and firepower ensured that the MiG-21 could hold its own against contemporary Western fighters like the F-104 Starfighter and later even challenge aircraft such as the F-4 Phantom II. One of the most remarkable aspects of the MiG-21 is its longevity. Production continued for more than two decades, with over 11,000 units built, making it the most produced supersonic jet in history. The aircraft was exported extensively and licensed for production in countries such as India and China, where local variants were developed. This global spread gave the MiG-21 a presence in nearly every major conflict from the 1960s onwards, including the Vietnam War, the Indo-Pakistani Wars, and various Middle Eastern confrontations. In Vietnam, the MiG-21 earned a reputation as a fierce adversary against American aircraft, using hit-and-run tactics to exploit its agility and speed. The simplicity of its design also contributed to its widespread use. It was easy to maintain, relatively inexpensive compared to Western jets, and adaptable to different operational environments. Many nations with limited defense budgets found the MiG-21 to be a practical solution for building up their air forces. Even today, upgraded variants remain in service in several countries, equipped with modern avionics, radar systems, and weapons to extend their operational life. India, for instance, operated MiG-21s extensively for decades, with upgraded versions like the MiG-21 Bison still flying into the 21st century. Beyond its technical merits, the MiG-21 has a legacy deeply tied to the geopolitics of the Cold War. It became a tool of Soviet influence, allowing allies and client states to bolster their defenses with a capable yet affordable jet. Its presence on countless airfields across Asia, Africa, and Eastern Europe made it not only a military asset but also a political symbol. Few aircraft in history have achieved the same level of production, deployment, and combat experience as the MiG-21, ensuring its place as one of the most legendary fighter jets ever built.